Hi guys, hi and welcome back to a new vlog. This is um, back home in Cambridgeshire edition. I'm actually in the room that I haven't shown you on YouTube, but I've shown you on Instagram. I did this room for my mum and dad um, in the summer because it really needed a lot of love. I was cheekily looking on at Right Move the other day and I saw a house that I thought was absolutely gorgeous and I had to see it. Even in, even though we're like thinking about moving, we're having discussions and stuff, but I don't really think we're in the place to move at the moment. But when I saw it, I was like, I will think about this house forever if I do not at least go and see it. So I booked a view in, um, I booked it last Monday. We're due to be there in about 20 minutes. Of course I'm bringing you, I'm so excited. But um, it's kind of, I already know it's not gonna be the house for us because I don't actually like where it's located. But yeah, really excited. I'm also gonna show you a couple of the houses as we drive through in the village, if I remember, because the houses around here are phenomenal. They're absolutely beautiful. And then when we get there, because there's gonna be a, what do you call them? I always wanna call them solicitors, an estate agent walking us around the property. I am hoping that they'll be happy for us to film um, so I'm really hoping that we can kind of walk around with them whilst they're descri describing things to us that you guys get to hear it as well. Because let's go view this house. There's just so much land around as well. So a lot, a lot of it is owned by farmers, but there's often a lot of land that you can buy to build houses, um, like plots of land. People often buy them for really cheap and then like years down the line when it becomes a bit of a busier area, you can sell it for profit or build on it and then just have like a really nice located house but yeah that's something i want to do in the future is um definitely build our own house would you be up for that what's that build your own house yeah i think it would be such a like amazing task and to build a house like how you want it exactly i think is just the dream and on like the exact plot of that land that you want in the exact area just this the style house that you want because i'm very big on like symmetrical houses out the front i love a house to be like kind of like picturesque picture perfect it's been painted you know when it's got the door in the middle the windows either side and it's got the little kind of roof and the really gorgeous little garden out front and that's the sort of vibe that i'm i'm thinking of i'm not very big on like modern structures that are very like abstract and like different i'm very like traditional countryside live-in house sort of style but this one that i'm going to show you today actually doesn't look very nice from the outside i don't like the outside of it at all really but the inside of it i'm hoping is going to be a dream so this is bedroom number like i don't really know because she said that they're all pretty similar sizes but like bedroom number two three four it's not the main bedroom. two i think two but they're like really really good size like we've got a small double bed here and then they've got this huge desk space here with loads of equipment and stuff so that that's out and over here they've got a kind of built-in situation so you could it goes really far back actually i didn't realize so you could get like right in there and have like a little dressing area space or like a walk-in wardrobe um, again a really really good size this is a i think this is a normal double size and then you've got all of this wardrobe space again so really perfect office space or a, a spare bedroom and then this is the family bathroom there would be a lot of changes to this so i would like entirely rip this whole suite out and then i wouldn't even put stuff like this back in so i think this is just, just kind of storage um instead i was thinking of making this window bigger put in a cloth foot bathtub underneath a big walk-in shower there and then having the sink in the toilet here something like that but can you get all the details on the come in here and have a look at this apparently all of this was hand crafted wood from like the original wood sort of stuff so all these architraves and whatnot, all of the coving in the house is all original and it was all done by hand, which is incredible. And then, have we been on this side yet? Yeah, so come this side. Yeah, can you see all that? Look at that panelling. Oh, that is what dreams are made of. And then go look on that mirror as well. How gorgeous is that? The ceiling, the ceiling rows, the coving. Honestly, I'm obsessed with all of it. And then this is another of the smaller bedrooms, but honestly, they're not small at all. So if you come in, They've got a small double again, but all of this, rip out all of this wardrobe space. Could make it again another really good size guest bedroom or office or snug, anything. And then this is the main bedroom. Come in here. This is the main bedroom. This looks like again, I think it's a, a double, but you could definitely get like a king in here. Taking all these wardrobes out, because this is a four bedroom house. So I would like to have a room dedicated to just all the wardrobe stuff. So all of the clutter stuff would just go in one room and then you could just have like a, a very zen chill minimal room with just your bed and stuff like that but these 
um, rooms are really good sizes and the windows are so big so can you see it's like a four panel window as opposed to like a, the usual two which is what we've got in our house it doesn't let a lot of light through by the way come over here so look at this house across the street it is phenomenal i know that's not why we're here but i'm obsessed with this house like that looks like something out of bridgerton doesn't it imagine like you just have every single party at your house forever hosting um, okay, and then I think that's everything for upstairs, so we quickly go downstairs. So, going downstairs. And then this is, um, like the dining space, and then it's kind of open part of the living room. But look at the ceilings. I am obsessed with the ceilings. The fireplace is gorgeous it's huge i didn't realize it was this big in the pictures so seeing it in person is like 10 times better and then i'll show you the kitchen quickly this is the kitchen it's a little bit smaller than um i thought it was going to be actually in the pictures it does look quite small but it's a little bit smaller than i'd hoped however i'll show you the what's it called what's that thing at the back called conservatory, conservatory. thinking of if we were to get something like this we're ripping the conservatory out and doing like a proper brick built extension and having that as a huge kitchen and diner area the one thing i have to do i have to make sure when we move houses that we've got like a kitchen diner open plan space because that is the one thing with our house at the minute i just really dislike because it's so difficult to host and have people around and it just makes it feel really like crammed having an open space or like rooms that flow work really well is so much better and then across here we've got like a utility room area this is like a utility room um, you don't need much more room than this, to be fair, than the kitchen dryer. Oh, they've got space to hang, hang stuff and whatnot. Um, and then here, sorry, this is a little bit janky, but here they had like an old storage unit um, or like a kind of side garage thing, but they've started to build it out and they're going to make this a shower room, like a, a downstairs shower. I think that's plan and permission to do that, oh, but they're not going to do it anymore now that they're selling. Yeah, they're not going to actually finish it off. They're just going to like box it all out and get it to like a kind of a, a space. So I was thinking actually that would be great extra storage for like a pantry cupboard or something like that. So that'll sort your age for a pantry cupboard out, won't it? Organisation goals indeed. <laughs> but yeah, um, I. I, hmm, we're going to talk about this in the car because I'm going to go talk to the other people but I'm very interested in this house very interested hey guys quick one so sorry I forgot to um, sign out the video yesterday we had a look around the village that the house was situated in and it was really really nice I don't think it's probably the area that we would prefer to be in because it's still out a little bit further out from like where our family and our friends live um, but it is a really nice village the house itself was amazing there was so much potential things that were just racing through my mind were things like ripping down the conservatory building a proper brick built extension making that big kitchen diner with the utility room and pantry out back big bifold doors skylights to let loads of light through the front kitchen would then be turned into like a snug or an office or something and then same with the utility room and whatever they're building on that side and then the bedrooms are all really really good sizes they all had lots lots and lots of wardrobes in them so they would feel even bigger when you ripped all of that out and just the bones of the house was really really good a couple of you did mention though that there were things to look out for so for example i wasn't in love with the front of the house nor the fact that it was so close to the road and it was also a corner house at that on a quite a busy road and a couple of you had mentioned yeah just be careful with roads houses that are on roads because they people can walk past and kick the door kids play knock down ginger you get drunk people like causing havoc and then even when you're just in a rush leaving your house you can like run into people in the street and stuff but yeah it was really it was such a nice thing to go and do to go and have a look at it and it's really set the ball rolling and it's just kind of started to open up a load of questions and make me feel like the process is actually beginning which is really really nice so yeah i thought uh, that would be really fun to film i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did let me know if there's anything that you would do to the house or like any inspiration or certain questions when looking for a new house especially a renovation then let me know um and uh, let other people know down in the comments because that's what i'm finding hard like the girl was like do you want to ask any questions and i was like no i asked like questions that i thought were good but i didn't really have a list of really intense questions so maybe we just need a bit more experience but yeah other than that i hope that you enjoyed the video and i uh, will hopefully we'll get through a couple of those in the future so there'll be more to come but i will see you in the next one and take care guys bye Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion
Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go out to 